Hey everybody, welcome back to Bloodborne. Uh, we've got some new armor, which I'm pretty happy about, considering it's the only thing we could split our blood or spend our blood echoes on. Uh, I do notice, and somebody pointed out that uh, there's this window with this glowing light Ooh, that we didn't talk to anyone. You must be a hunter. At it. And not one from around here either. I'm Gilbert, a fellow outsider. Oh, you pretty must important. Have had a fine time of it. Yarnum has a special way of treating guests. Well, I don't think I could stand if I wanted to, but I'm willing to help if there's anything that can be done. <laughs> it's kind of interesting, like, I... Cursed. Whatever your reasons might be, you should plan a swift exit. Whatever can be gained from this place, it will do more harm than good. Like, I don't know how these people are going to factor into this, but they certainly will, I'm sure. Now, this is the uh, shortcut that we had opened previously. And we kind of avoided a couple things. Like, there are... There's this group here. Kind of- oh, man. Okay, good. Well, I only got the one. Whoa! Hoo -hoo. Hi there. And now we've pissed off two of them. Really? Oh, that does a ton of damage. These guys are strong, but they're like... They're suspiciously bigger than what their strength is, if that makes any sense. Like, you look at them and you think, wow, but then... I mean, they can hit you, but they can't really take it as much. Whoa! That was close. They do drop a lot of blood vials, though. That's one thing I'm seeing. But actually, I wonder... And I should have checked down the stairs, or down the ladder, if these big guys... ...respawn or not. Okay, we should have the section with the wolves around here as well, but let's continue down for now. Yeah, here they are. Whoa. I imagine the fire would work pretty nicely on that fur. Oh, yeah, it does. <laughs> Do I feel bad? Yes, but... At the same time, if they get out of there... They, they attack really swiftly, like, twice right in a row. Cold blood dude, lots of them. Awesome. Who is this? You can hear, like, this woman screaming. I wonder if that's another door somewhere. like hysterical you're a 
I'm so sorry. Ready? Well, do you know of any safe places? <laughs> Not currently, to be honest. I'd probably, if I were you, I would just stay in there. So many things to roll over. What am I looking at exactly? Looks like I can drop down onto some type of ledge. What the hell? Keep going. So this probably just winds us around down there, but maybe entering from above is smarter. I see one enemy. Let's certainly take the window approach. Yeah, real stealthy entry as well. Oh, where is this? Now we're back outside again. There's so many different... Hello? What the hell? Oh, that is so creepy. Oh. A hunter, are you? And an outsider. What a mess you've been caught up in. And tonight of all nights. Here. To welcome the new hunter. Bold hunter's mark. Prepare yourself for the worst. Okay. There are no humans left. They're all flesh hungry beasts now. So they've been turned. Still lingering about. What's wrong? A hunter unnerved by a few beasts. <laughs> no matter. Without fear in our hearts, we're little different from the beasts themselves. A shake-off keep? Okay. What are you still doing here? Well, I'm gonna keep you talking to you if you're giving me stuff. Boots. A hunter must hunt. What are you enough trembling in your boots? A hunter. All right, so what did she give us exactly? Awaken anew without losing blood echoes. Okay, allows the hunter to awaken again without losing blood echoes, a trick that seems nearly too good to be true. Dangling upside down rune etched in the mind of a hunter. The image upon this parchment allows one to envision the rune with clarity. Okay. How do we use it, though? Like... It's something we can equip. Sacrifice all blood echoes and awaken anew. So I imagine that if we just want to... Let's say we're in a tough spot. We're like, no, we got to get out of here and we have a lot of blood echoes, we can use this to go back to one of the uh, lamps. The Hunter's Mark, we could do it, but we would lose all the blood echoes, and we could probably use that as much as we want, so... Um, I'm gonna go ahead and... Well, maybe we should keep this in there, because if things get dicey... Like, with all this stuff that they hide away, just imagine how many... people don't even get to see, like... And I, I've probably missed a ton of stuff already. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and be greedy here.
I kind of, I want to knock that off. But I want to make sure that I don't... There we go. Well, that's real low. I'm kind of waiting for the floor to just give out at some point. Is something shooting at me? Oh. There's something down there for sure. There's something. Okay, let's be careful about this again. Thing is, is I don't know. I guess if I go straight out, maybe I can hit it. Just. Just barely. Alright, problem is now, how do we get down without dying? Can we fall and attack this guy? Or do we have a closer place that we can land to? Here goes nothing. Whoa! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Son of a... That's, uh, yeah. Whoa. Hi there. Well, this will actually be... It had to happen sooner or later. This is actually not too bad because I want to figure out what exactly is going to happen with all these souls. Or, uh, sorry, blood echoes. That, well, we know that they're going to be there somewhere. But the other thing is, what about my health? Am I going to have, like, a half health kind of thing? The problem there was that I attacked right off the bat. And, uh, I ran out of endurance. Oh, these guys do come back. Okay. Okay. When the hunt began, the healing church left us, blocking the great bridge to the cathedral ward as old Yarnan burned to the ground that moonlit night. Now we are going to have to deal with the wolves again. Down, boy.
Now, to figure out where my blood echoes are. <laughs> oh, he's no longer barking here. So he's gone. What about the bodies that I hit down from up above here? Are those... Yeah, okay, it looks like they're still on the ground. gonna hurt. We gotta take these guys pretty seriously here. Now here's another one. I, I want to avoid... Is this something I can use? No, I want to avoid falling off the edge. Oh, there's a guy shooting at us. Is he? There he is. Oh, look at these giant rats! Probably poison us or something. This is yet another way out into the city. Before we head down, let's check around up here. Oh, hi there. Oh! Whoa! Serious? Okay, the bullets aren't helping, for the record. Tons of bullets. Okay, we're getting a little bit further away than where I want to be right now. The tough thing is, is like, when you're in a brand new area, trying to figure out, like, to what extent do you want to just run off and explore? Also, I don't think I got my, uh... I don't think I got my blood echoes back. I'm not sure where they are, to be honest. What is this? Some type of like... It's a weird outskirts area. Like, I died over here. What's this? Cold blood dew. Right? Like, I totally died over here, but... Interesting. I'm not sure how this works now.
That's probably hurting our weapon a little bit. Or maybe, I don't know, maybe we did get them back? Like, I can't, I didn't even... We went to kill that thing. I couldn't even tell if we got them or not, so... Now, how do we get down below this? We could jump down. Or perhaps there's a way in from outside with that ladder. Thinking that might make sense. Okay, hey, before we head down, let's now just scout the other side. As far as we can. Looks like we can make some pretty big jumps. Oh, here's something. Yeah, another ladder. Whoa. We got really lucky there. See shiny stuff off in the distance. Okay, let's take that ladder because if we can go down, it looks like we could run across. We could take that ladder up to the top of for whatever reason. But I don't know if we need to if we should be going underneath where we saw those rat things. I'm guessing so. I just don't know if it leads somewhere, obviously, so... I'm cautiously optimistic that we'll be okay here. this yeah this looks like the place oh shit so anything with fur <laughs> which makes sense oh that's gonna hurt just barely Throwing knives. That's something we can equip here. Does not carry a great deal of damage to beasts, but with death use can distract attackers and keep them at bay. Alright. Madman's knowledge. Oh, you know what? I think this... I think... Hold on. Uh, I think this is the thing that lets us... Skull of, yeah, use to gain insight. Now, hold on a second. If we use this and we die, do we lose it? I don't know how to lose insight. Hold I'm just going to hold on to that until we're somewhere safe. Turn back. at a literal dead end, so. But what I notice is we don't have a tunnel entrance into the level just above. I wonder if there's, like, secret walls and stuff, because... 
There could be a lot of dead ends, it looks like. Now, we see some shiny stuff up there. I don't know how we would even get close to being up there. Let's see where this takes us. There's a lot. Thankfully, we can swipe him with one hit. Another one of those. Okay, this is good. This is promising. hit and run. Oh! We did something good there. Wow. Just barely have any health. Oh, it seems like we can stagger these guys, but, um... I don't know... Attack from behind is effective. Yeah, well, I see that. We've got yet another ladder. <laughs> I'm trying to fool anybody. Heaven's depths of depravity. Oh, where's this now? Closed by device. Have audience with child? Oh. Who are you? I don't know your voice, but I know that smell. Are you a hunter? That's right, because we have the light here. For my mom. Daddy never came back from the hunt, and she went to find him. But now she's gone too. I'm all alone and scared. Fine. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh, thank you. My That's different. Mom was a red jeweled brooch. It's so big and. And beautiful, you won't miss it. Oh, I mustn't forget. If you find my mom, give her this music box. Um, okay. Small music box received from a young Yarnum girl. Inside the lid is a small scrap of paper, perhaps an old message. Two names can be made out, however faintly. Viola and Gascoigne? Okay. Daddy's favorite songs, and when Daddy forgets us, we play it for him so he remembers. Oh. I'm so silly for him off without it. I imagine that sh Mum is actually uh, one of these beasts. Now, is this that first little Central Park area? Nope. Oh, I see where we are now. There's that big guy at the door over there. And we actually walked over here and then said, no, we're not interested. <laughs> nice. Kind of cheap, but I'll take it. Oh, seriously? big group here. 
Hello. Oh, that's gonna hurt. No, it didn't. We've got yet another shortcut. Oh, look at these guys. Getting a little bit low on the cocktails. Shit. Risky, risky! <laughs> I hate you. I hate you. Is this the thing that we fought at the very beginning? I'm kind of thinking so. I really gotta, next time we have some blood vials to pick up, before we pick them up, we should just make sure that we use whatever we have if we're maxed out. Crazy statues everywhere. Yeah, see, like there again. I'm pretty much on full, but. Nice, we'll take that. Where's this taking me? Whoa. Oh. Interesting. I wonder why we would come up here. Goodbye. Maybe. I don't know if he died or not. I don't know that he did die, but he sounds like he's might still be pissed. Whoa!
Found our rat friends. Well, how the hell are we supposed to get down there? Is he just going to watch me? I can't use Molotovs. Oh, thankfully they're not super strong. not see this guy. He was the one that fell. My god. Okay. I do not want to get hit by that. Okay. That could have just impaled me. Hunter hat, garb, gloves. Is this all the stuff that we just bought? Probably. No, it's not. So the cap is similar. Couple of differences. It's got increases in blunt and blood defense. So we could use that. Same with the hunter garb. Yeah, it is actually, it is actually better. Oh, except for arcane defense, but we're not really seeing a lot of that. And bolt. Because we're all cloaked up now, it's amazing. Now, how does one... Oh, I see. That's that big ladder that we came down before. I mean, we're getting in pretty deep here. I'm really wondering if we should be... ...heading back. It's gonna hurt. I wonder if we can actually use. Let's see. I've been thinking about these pebbles. Quite thrilling. Let's see. If we were to. Maybe we could grab them with this? Oh, he's coming anyway. Oh, so is his buddy. Quick little buggers. Oh, damn. Now we're at a dead end. Okay. Let's take that ladder back up. Found some new gear, though, so that's sweet. And I think that's probably it for this room.
imagine this is how we get back. Yep. I'd really love to find another, like, bonfire-ish thing. Oh, look where we are. This is an interesting spot. Okay. That's where we saw that worship earlier. It's, like, so expansive and, like, I'm ending up in places I would never even consider before. Didn't even see him. I really feel like we should be cutting our losses here, and, uh... Yeah, this is that house. So if we do, uh... Yeah, I think we're gonna go back to the, um... To the light. Or the lamp, I should say. And, uh, from there we can go up through the house and we'll be right at that bridge and it'll be perfect. And now we'll actually see if we can level up, which will be pretty amazing. Okay, so, uh, let's go ahead and consume this thing that gives us insight. And apparently, like... Can I talk to her now? Nope, still not. What the? Used to gain insight. Making contact with Eldritch Wisdom is a blessing, for even it drives one mad. It allows one to serve a grander purpose for posterity. And I also, I don't know where our, uh... Wheelchair guy went. <laughs> Creepy. Maybe we have to... If I head back and then come back in... That was... I was understanding that that's how the insight works. Once I had that, then I could level up, but, uh... Look, maybe I'm wrong. Okay, now, let's go back to Hunter's Dream. There we go! So it has to be consumed before we get here. Consume insight and ring the beckoning bell to enlist the cooperation of hunters from other worlds. Silencing blank and such forms of cooperation. Oh, that's amazing! Okay, so... Hello, good hunter. I am a doll. Here in this dream to look after you. Honorable hunter, pursue the echoes of blood. And I will channel them into your strength. You will hunt beasts. And I will be here for you. To embolden your sickly spirit. Okay, um, let's keep talking to her. Did you speak with German? He was a hunter long, long ago, but now serves only to advise them. He is obscure, unseen in the dreaming world. Still, he stays here, in this dream. Such is his purpose. Ah, the little ones. Inhabitants of the dream. They find hunters like yourself, worship and serve them. Speak words they do not. But still, aren't they sweet? Yeah, super sweet. Ah, they. Okay. So, uh, let's channel blood echoes. Very well. 
Let the echoes become your strength. Let me stand close. Now shut your eyes. Alright, so... What do we need more of? Really, skill would be great. Either, like, all of these are actually quite good. Let's see. Skill attribute governing more nuanced physical weapon attack. Determines whether or not you can use certain equipment. Attribute governing heavy physical weapon attack. So this one I'm using all the time. And I wonder if it just makes it quicker. Attribute governing power of weapons that use qu uh, quicksilver bullets. Determine whether you can use it or not. Um, attack power of arcane. Endurance. Uh, stamina and resistances. I'm thinking it makes the most sense. Governing heavy physical weapon attack. Depending on the weapons that we get, I guess. But I'm gonna go ahead and level a couple of, couple of these. Am I okay for endurance? I'm gonna take one extra point in endurance. Each time we level up, we gain a level, it looks like. This is gonna take our... Let's see. Stamina to 93. Big, huge difference. Um... The skill is really only taking... It is taking our physical defenses up. Uh, strength seems to do that quite a bit more. I am going to go all into skill and see if that impacts our attack speed, because it's not super clear. And then one into endurance. What's this Carlisle rune effect? Various effects of memorized Carlisle runes? It's got something on us. Governs chances of enemies dropping items when defeated. Okay, so that can be increased. Beasthood. The higher this attribute, the closer you are to beasthood when temporarily... Tra well, what does that mean? Temporarily transformed. Oh, that's interesting. Ah, they Farewell, good hunter. Awesome. May so, I didn't mean to cut her off there. Let's, uh, let's see. Oh, I, what did that do? I don't even know what that did. I have no idea. Okay, anyways, uh, we're going to take a bit of a break. And when we return, we will head back. We'll go into that house, up the stairs, we'll be on that bridge, and we'll see what's beyond that bridge. I'm sure it's going to be challenging. So, uh, I'm going to need you to wish me luck. See you next time, guys. I don't know why my health got hurt there. I'm going to have to read up on some stuff. Take care. Bye.